welcome to a latest video. Um, once again, I will talk about Ahrefs. Um, and before I get into it, I just wanted to mention that we do have a subscription button that you can see here, the round watermark, our copper marketing logo. So please make sure to subscribe to our channel in order to stay tuned and never miss a new video. So as you can see today, I want to analyze um, the competition for Kappa Travel, our sister company. And I, as I have mentioned last time, we are going to look into the link intersect function. So the link intersect function looks like this. You can just add um, domains here in this field in order to analyze those websites that uh, have backlinks that maybe we don't have yet. So first of all, I wanna maybe have a look at our comp competition. So I use the organic competitors function and see that, for example, in the Philippines where we wanna rank for, um, we do have a couple of uh, companies that are similar to ours. And you can see that it's taking a while, but here, the first hits are, for example, um, discoverthephilippines.info. So I'm just going to use that for now to get an idea of uh, where they get backlinks from. And then I will maybe add two more that I know. So I know... Hmm. Tourada, well, Tourada is a little bit strong. I would say I'm just going to stick to the top, maybe top three. Uh, ephilippines.com.ph And I just found out that Ahrefs is using the HTTP version. So I'm pretty sure that's not the way how you should use it because most websites use, use the HTTPS version. So I'm just removing the HTTP uh, for now to be able to actually crawl that. And maybe I'll use uh, philippinetraveldestinations.com. So I'm gonna analyze those three uh, websites and try to find out what kind of link opportunities we might have. So in this uh, view, you have a couple of backlinks that, for example, eFilippines and Philippine travel destinations share, or let's say they have the same sources. And uh, what this view says is basically that from this website, the two competitors receive backlinks. So they even have four backlinks, and you can even have a look at the exact uh, location of the links. Usually this works. I don't know why it doesn't work for now. Let's try a different one. Um, I'm interested in, let's say, seeing this backlink from Star Courts. So I'm just clicking on this here. And I see the exact location of that backlink. So I can have a look at it. I can uh, decide if I like this link source or not. So. I actually know this link source. And uh, as you can see here, that's probably not the best idea to get a backlink from here because that website seems to be hacked or something. So you have a lot of outgoing backlinks, uh, outgoing external links might not be the best idea to get a backlink. So um, I would usually, of course, go for high domain rating, but also topic related sources. Um, in this case, I can't identify good backlink sources right away, to be honest. So I just try to quickly find a good one that I might want to um, also build for our website for Kappa Travel. Ideally, I see something travel related. Of course, here you see Wikipedia, which is a very strong backlink, or blogger.com is uh, the blogger software that Google offers or offered. I'm not even sure if they're still 
running that one. Um, here, Pinterest is a very interesting link source. I have mentioned that before a couple of times that I also like it pretty much. And you can see Folked. Folked is a social um, bookmarking portal, which might be an idea. Or, yeah, Typepad is also a little bit more familiar. Singapore Expat seems to be a forum. Let's have a look at this one, maybe. I don't think that forum links are per se a bad thing. Um, I actually think that they can be useful. So this here is um, actually an interesting one. That's like a classified page that offers link opportunities. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. I find this link intersection tool pretty useful for um, off-page SEO. And I hope that you um, find this video useful. If yes, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching again and uh, chat soon.